people of the world. What an annoying way to start a video. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyra and I make tips, tricks, and organization videos. I'm thinking about starting a thing like Travel Tuesday or Travel Thursday and posting a just short little clip video on just another travel hack that I have for you guys and posting it every week. If you like that idea, please comment below. I don't want to do it if you guys don't like it. So in the past, I've talked to you about uh, my traveling and how I use carry-ons and what it's like when I pack to go home and my ha traveling tips. But one thing I haven't talked about is what it's like to travel with one of these guys. Louie is just the love of my life and I take him with me as often as possible. Louie is the perfect little travel companion because he's nine pounds. He looks a little bit bigger when he's fluffy. He's honestly like the smallest little rat ever. He fits perfectly in the airline approved sized crate. I made him super comfortable with it when I first got it and I would put treats in there and I'd leave it out. I would have him sleep in there instead of his regular crate even when we were at home. Just that way he was familiar with it and now when I travel with him he goes right to sleep. I put him in there and I put him under the seat and he's asleep before takeoff. It's so cute. I just love sharing all the experiences with him and so I love taking him when I go to California and I go to the beach or if I'm going to New York and then he can run around in the fields with the trees and the forest and I love my dog and I love sharing all of my adventures in my life with him so I wanted to inform you guys what do you need to do and how do you need to prepare if you're going to be flying with an animal for the first time it is so intimidating and I was an absolute nervous wreck because I was so scared for him and I wanted to make sure he was comfortable I'm gonna show you how I pack his crate and all of the things I need to bring for him and then also just give you some tips so first off as you can see this is his crate right when I bring it out he immediately smells it and recognizes it as its own space and so before I even take him and before we leave I'll put a treat in there so that way he smells it and he kind of wants to go in there and he's antsy and then want him to be really comfortable with it and then he's like excited to go into his crate. Along with that I make sure I always pack all of his paperwork. I need to make sure that I always print off my confirmation that I've notified the airline that I'm bringing him, email correspondence or that you've screenshot of that you've checked the box on your ticket itinerary or if you're paying to fly with your animal and you have your confirmation of your payment that you're bringing them on board. Whatever it is, make sure you have proof that the airline is aware that you're bringing your animal. Besides that, you also will need a copy of their rabies vaccination. Airlines will not let your animal fly if they do not have a copy of the rabies vaccination. Some airlines also require a certificate of health. Make sure no matter what, no matter what, check your airline's guidelines for traveling with an animal. They're all different. They all require different things. Some airlines require their own form. So please, please, please make sure you check because the worst thing you can do is get turned away at the gate. Along with that, I always pack Louie's leash. I feel like that goes without saying you will need your dog's leash. I always bring a Ziploc bag of food. This is important. When you go through security, take the bag of food out of your bag, backpack, suitcase, whatever it's in. Unless you're checking it, they are going to check your bags at security if you have the food in there. It looks too suspicious and they need to check it. It's a pain in the butt. As long as you take it out and they can see it, you won't have a problem. Besides that, I always get him a cheap toy at the dollar store, one that I don't care if we lose on our trip and I'll bring that with us just so we have something to play with once we get to whatever the destination is. Another thing to keep in mind is when traveling with your animal, I always bring like a big scarf or something like a blanket scarf and I cover his crate as I'm holding it because sometimes he does get a little bit nervous as I'm still walking around but as long as I have it covered he seems so much more comfortable and is a lot less restless. Once you get to security along with taking off your shoes and taking out your laptop and taking out all of your liquid they will require that the crate goes through the x-ray machine but you have to take your dog out and hold them. You'll hold your animal and you'll walk through the x-ray machine holding him unless they're too big in which case they might walk and then once you're on the other side they're going to swipe both of your hands and check to make sure that you don't have any bomb residue on your hands and then once you're cleared then you can continue on. This part is the hardest part for me and it's what I struggle with the most because not only do I have to put all of my stuff up on the conveyor belt I then have to get Louie out and hold him and make sure that I'm ready to walk through the scanner. There's just so many people and lots of machinery and moving parts around him and I know he doesn't like it that much. Once we get through the other side I put him right back in his crate and I put the scarf back over it and he seems just fine. Another thing you can do while traveling with your animal. If it's your first time or maybe you have just a more anxiety prone dog, you can give them some Benadryl. Look up how many milligrams of Benadryl you can give your dog per pound and 
and then I just I crush it up and mix it with a little bit of peanut butter if you give them just a little bit of Benadryl they'll go to sleep right away if you're worried that your dog's gonna have a hard time it's not a bad idea to do you can also go to your vet and get an anti-anxiety drug I've never had to do this but it is also an option once you've done it for the first time it's so much less scary to do again I am very very lucky to have a little dog that does not mind being on airplanes and likes to sleep in his crate I hope you guys have as easy as of a time with it as I have in the past if you have any questions about flying with your animal feel free to comment down below if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to support my channel and watch more of my videos please hit that subscribe button I really appreciate it and I would love to be able to show you guys some more of my content all right thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time Thank you.